All right, Utah State fans, the time has come for the number one play of this Utah State football season, and I had to pick two plays because both were equally important. First one, fourth and goal stop against Utah on our home field to break that long losing streak we had against them. And the number two was the fourth and three stop against La Tech, which essentially gave Utah State the WAC championship. Jeremiah, when you were watching these two plays happen, first the Utah play, what was your reaction to that? I was there on the sideline. And I was in disbelief because you just, you've always been waiting for Utah State to be able to finish these ball games. And once that game went to overtime, you're thinking, oh, here we go again, right? Mm -hmm. Well, this time they finished and they did it with their defense. Their offense got the score. Chucky had that great run to set up the Kerwin Williams touchdown. Crazy plays. But then the defense got it done. They stood up against the Utah offense. And the reaction from Chucky is he's jumping up and down. My, bar none, Gary my favorite crazy. reaction of the entire season from that game, both the Chucky and then Gary shoving people out on the sideline. It was amazing. And from there, this team took off. The confidence that they gained from that win cannot be understated. They made the run that they did to get to 10 wins, but it all started, I believe, with that overtime stop. It was really a reverse Auburn from last season. Right. Going to Utah State like I did and watching some of the games we had against Utah – to get a win like that and to watch the defense finally get a stop, like you said, and it was a great play by, you know, maybe the most underrated player on that Aggie defense. We, you know, we talk about Bo J a lot, but, but Will Davis, who's always in position, makes a great play on that ball. That particular play, a microcosm of his season, he's never out of position. He was always making plays for the Aggies. And kind of the same thing on the, uh, in the Louisiana Tech, Tech game. Playmakers making plays. Jake Dowdy in that game, you know, before he makes that stop on fourth and three, he he picks off Louisiana Tech in the fourth quarter as they're marching down the field to score again. You just never saw that from Utah State defensive players. They made stop after stop for them all season long. And that comes from Gary and what he's done with that defense, bringing the right players and then teaching them the right schemes and the right way to play the game. That La Tech win, that fourth and three you're talking about, to get to overtime, it was a similar situation as the Utah game. Another monkey on their back. They had never beat a ranked team on the road. Let's 0-50 or something like that. 0-39. Yeah. 0-39. 1-50 1 overall against mm -hmm. ranked teams. They had a huge monkey on their back, and they got it off in that La Tech game. And – you still, at the, I remember you were in the, in the newsroom and you couldn't believe it. You jumping up and down because you, you thought going, oh, here it goes, here we go again because right. they had this big lead and then it's gone and then you go to overtime, you're on the opposing team's home field, they've got all the momentum and you're thinking this is, this is where they blow it. They didn't. Once again, the defense stepped up and got it done in the clutch and that shows the growth that this program has made in four years under Gary Anderson. They're winning those games now. And that was a great example. Both of those plays, the biggest plays of the season, where this team showed that they can finish big games and get big wins. Let's just hope that that defense can make plays tomorrow against Toledo. <laughs> I, I'm thinking they will. Uh, I, don't, I don't expect it to stop now. But, fans, that is the list. Thanks for watching. And uh, good luck to the Aggies tomorrow as they take on Toledo at 2.30. Tune in.